Well, hey everyone, good morning. So, I just got to the Metro Link and um, on the way, I got my jack in the back that I was trying to get yesterday, but I didn't want her to go take lift when I got to Morovia and then have them say drive through only when I got there. And then at that time of morning, you can't really do all that because it's so busy and competitive to get rides. So, you know, if you add a stop, they try to be all, you know, charging a lot or it may, you know, so I'd like to know ahead of time. But, so yeah. And then there's one in Pomona off Gary and Foothill on the, like, the Love Room border. And I was going to do that. But they were open last time, but then one time they weren't. So, like, I'm just like, but anyway, I finally got there mainly to try the Karma Ice Coffee. I did make a video at McDonald's yesterday morning. And I'm going to put that up. Um, reviewing their Karma Ice Coffee. Because I went and they didn't have the pumpkin syrup out. Or I don't know what the deal was. But that's what it seemed like. Because she didn't say why. She said, oh, we don't ha uh, She looked and she said, we don't have it right <laughs> So, one of these days I'm going to try Starbucks. Um, pumpkin ice coffee if they have one um, see how that tastes but I'm going to try the caramel um, ice coffee from Jack in the Box right now I haven't heard much about theirs I mean you mostly hear about McDonald's ice coffee so you know who's winning that the race right now fast food wise <laughs> 7-Eleven has one too, but it's super sweet. Like, you can tell it's just straight up sugar. Sugar is like 98% sugar, 1% milk, 1% coffee. <laughs> and creamer or whatever. Okay, so. Now, they get points off because they give it to me in this and not in a clear cafe style cup. At least do it McDonald's status way, like with a clear cut. But, um, yeah, so. Oh, and I want to thank myself for um, the card I used. Uh, one of my credit cards, my cash rewards, uh, I guess, got to a certain amount. So they let you either transfer to a bank account or. Apply it to your balance or whatever. The applying to the balance, I was going to do that. It was only 40 bucks, but I was going to do that. But then I was like, that's a, that, that's not considered a payment. It says, it just says, it's like, you would be giving that. It's kind of like when you use a gift card at a store. And you do a gift card at $50, but your total is like 300 It's like that. It's like, you still would have to pay, um... The rent pay your monthly payment, but then they would apply that one too to the balance, which I could have done that. It would have, been, it would have saved me a little bit, but I just decided to put thirty of it into my checking, <laughs> my my credit union, which I haven't been using recently. I've been using most of the time, and then the rest I just left it on there. So, you know, because you had to do minimum twenty five. The minimum was twenty five to whatever you were gonna do, twenty five to the car, twenty five. In a check that they mail to you, or twenty-five to your account, your um, checking account. So, need extra cash right now. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna do this taste test. So yeah, Jack, where's your freaking cup? Clear cup. I mean, McDonald's has the clear cups. Starbucks has the clear cups. All of them do that. And and the thing is, Jack and has it on their um, window, a clear cup. So I don't get it. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. There's always something going around. And this is good. I'm gonna um, wager to say I have to maybe try it one more time because I did like McDonald's iced coffee. It didn't wow me, but it was just like. It wasn't bad. I would get it again. So it was okay. This is more up my alley, though. It's really good. I gotta know what they put in it, though. Because usually the things that are really good are banned. Either they have 
too much milk or whatever for my whole lactose intolerance issue thing. <laughs> and I, I don't want it to like too much. He's just to drink it. Oh, they're too sweet. This doesn't have an aftertaste. It's just like McDonald's iced coffee. No aftertaste. So, I like how these fast food places brew their coffee. Not bitter. They probably use like just the light roast or whatever. The medium roast. So, this tastes like 7 Eleven iced coffee. But better. 7 Eleven is too sweet and has a weird aftertaste. So yeah, I would definitely get this again. I mean, I hope it's not like some places where you go to one location and it's good. It's based on how you make it, you know. But yeah, I would definitely get this again. So yeah, Jack in the Box. Well, I would get the McDonald's one again too. So that doesn't mean it's good, but great. But I definitely give the Jack in the Box ice coffee. Uh. Because the cup thing, I, you know, they even have a clear cup, on, like I said, on their window. I'm taking a point off. <laughs> a star off, so I give it nine stars. It's good. I would get it again for sure. If I was, like, into it in a sweet coffee, I need some caffeine, man. So, these fast food places are... They're doing a good job. They're coming up clutch with these coffee joints. These ice coffees, these different little macchiato and all that. I would definitely go there to one of those before Starbucks. Only reason that Starbucks and the market is because they will they use different kind of like if you have lactose issues and you don't want to do the whole lactate tablet thing, you'll get a different kind of milk, oat milk, almond milk, or whatever things like that. Starbucks would do something like that, whereas McDonald's wouldn't win it, I don't think. So yeah, that's the only advantage those places have. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to get going. I'm going to eat my breakfast real quick. Get on the Metro Link. Riding on the Metro. And then, go home. And then I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to puff puff at all. Because, you know what? I got to see what happens. Um... I need to do it mostly just when I'm having pain issues. Because I think if I do it all the time or every, every day just to relax in general. Especially on work days. Because it's like I ha I don't like to be like, uh, I'm already hard enough to get up anyway. So like adding something that's making me like definitely not want to get up. It's like, like I told you in the video yesterday, I forgot I got donuts that one day. <laughs> Until I was leaving, I was like, oh, I got those. That's definitely not me with those ones. <laughs> those things are, like, gone before, like, one in the afternoon. But anyway, you guys, okay, so I will talk to you guys later. Jack in the Box iced coffee, nine stars. Car I tried the caramel. Get you some, and then get you some McDonald's and do your own taste test. All right, bye, guys. Good morning. Happy Saturday. You guys, you guys... Look at this. <laughs> Look at this advertise. This is false advertising. I took some of the egg off. I broke it off because I didn't want the, yo the yellow. But um, this is the double bacon um, breakfast sandwich from Jack in the Box 2 for 6. And look how it looks. They should be ashamed. And it just it tastes okay. It doesn't taste as good as their, um, what is it? The Supreme breakfast sandwich thing. Yeah, Jack, get it together. Look at that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Good morning. Bye.